Chiefs, the United States has given security assurances to Ukraine in the past, and that did not stop this invasion. When you recently spoke with President Biden, did he make you any kind of concrete promise that the U.S. and NATO wouldn't let this happen to Ukraine again? So we don't believe in papers any longer. So we are very grateful for the support of the United States, indeed, and it's a very powerful support. But in terms of security guarantees, we have not received them yet from anyone, and we have to get them. For us, it is important also what the circle of countries who will be providing the security guarantees is going to be and how specifically this will be enforced. So I'm not, as a president, satisfied with just assurance, because then I don't know what the agreement is going to be about and whether we will have any agreement with Russia. What are we going to agree about? Who are going to be the guarantors? Because if tomorrow the war starts again and only sanctions will have been introduced, well, that's about nothing, because sanctions are important. If they cannot stop the aggression, then we don't need such guarantees.